I was starting out today's DIY video with a Dollar Tree garden dish and I will make a round circle that I will be able to put inside the dish and then I'm also going to be filling it up to make sure that there won't be space under the shape. I'll be filling it up with foam board cutout pieces. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now that I have my pieces tightly together in the garden dish, I will be making a point in the middle and I will be making a hole at that point where I will be inserting a Dollar Tree paper towel holder. I'm going to take this out and spray paint it gold and insert it inside the dish. I'll make sure that I make a deep hole so that the paper towel holder can sit firmly in place. The next thing I'm going to do is cover up the lip of the bowl with tape because I will be spray painting the top. Now I'm going to be gluing on shower rings at the top. I'm going to lock all of the shower rings before gluing them to the top. Because I was worried that this is going to have a bulky look, I decided to switch up the shower rings for book rings that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are much more thinner and it would give a better finished look. I'll recommend that you use a strong adhesive and hot glue to attach the book rings to the garden dish. When I was done, I took it out and I spray painted it gold. I'll glue on napkin holders around the edges. This is a cute portable table lamp and I will be using remote control push lights for the lighting. Okay guys, I just want to say how excited I am that this turned out super cute. It is a portable table lamp that will add style and function in any space. Here's an idea that can be used during and after the holidays. I'm going to be making a hole in this box for the lighting. I'm just going to go ahead now and create an opening in the middle where I'll be inserting hula hoops inside.
I'm gonna be adding foam boards inside this box so that it will be thick enough to hold the hoops. I'm going to make a hole that's going to go right through all of the boards. I'll be covering the sides with marble contact paper and the top with gold contact paper. For the sake of uniformity, I'm going to be adding a gold tape on all the sides of the box. I'll be using three hula hoops for this project. And all I'm gonna do is figure out what shape that I would like it to look like when it's standing on the box and attach them together with screws. When I was done, I spray painted it gold. I'll be attaching remote control LED lighting to the hoops and the link for this is gonna be down in the description box below. This is self-adhesive, which makes it super easy to apply. What I had at home was a 50 feet long LED strip, which is too much for this project. But the link for the LED that I attached to this video is 20 feet long for those of you who would want to try this DIY out in your homes. So a 20 feet long LED strip should be enough for three hoops. I will insert the leftover inside the box and attach it around the inside, just so that I can have lighting as well inside instead of just closing it up and hiding it inside the box. I made sure that when the hoops go through, it will be snug to keep it in place. Now I'm gonna connect it to the adapter. I made a little hole under the box so that the wires can move freely. You can use a strong adhesive to keep the hoops in place together with the box, but I left mine the way it is because it's perfectly tight inside the box. And from time to time, I will be removing it to change the base. I decided to add beads to what I already have here and beads as well to cover up the rough opening on the box. This looks like an artistic display and it's even more interesting because it's got lighting inside. For those of you who were turned off by the dots of lighting here on the strip, I left a link down below with an LED strip that does not have those dots around for you to use if you don't like the dots around the lighting. I prefer this lighting with a longer base just to make it look more like an artistic display, but however it is you choose to keep your base for your lighting, it's totally up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.